Hello everybody, welcome back to Thieges YouTube. Pretty much what I do here is I review the most interesting notebooks to come to the PC market, but what I have for you today is not a notebook review, of course. Naturally, I haven't done a notebook review in quite some time, but I promise I will have one soon. This is the HP DV6T-1000, the uh, computer you're staring at right now. I'm recording this on my camera, of course, and this guy has the uh, Intel Core i5 2410M processor mated to the AMD Radeon 6770M mobile GPU. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is, of course, as you can probably guess by the title, it's to go over how to work AMD's switchable graphics. Now, one thing that I noticed when I started using this uh, computer to game with is that my games ran shitty so incredibly bad of frame rate and I, I knew this top tier graphics card was capable of more than this and I say top tier because it is top tier it I'll be at the bottom of top tier graphics but top tier graphics nonetheless so anyway we're gonna go over what uh, my first dilemma with this was by going into StarCraft 2 and this is what you should expect to see if you <clears throat> run this game for the first time without configuring switchable graphics. So we're going to play as a guest because I can't log in because I don't have a keyboard in front of me. Single player, play versus AI. And you can see then that corner, oh, the fraps frame rate is so bad already. Let's just go into incineration zone and whatever, whatever, start game. I'm not going to waste your time configuring it because I'm nice. Now, these settings are medium detail settings with VSync on. Everything's at uh, medium. I think the texture settings are at high, but that shouldn't matter anyway because this thing has a gig of GDDR5 VRAM, which is amazing. So, this should be running at 60 frames per second right now, and we're barely getting 30. Why? Because we didn't configure AMD's switchable graphics. So, as you can see, frame rate sucks. Yay. It should be running 60, should be running perfectly. So let's surrender out of this game. And I'm going to show you now how to configure AMD switchable graphics. Now I've gotten a couple of comments on this on my YouTube and I didn't know what to do because, well, I didn't have this notebook before, but now that I have the notebook and I've learned how to configure this, we're going to go ahead and learn how. So the first thing we need to do is right click on the desktop and go to configure switchable graphics. It should be the second option down from the top. And we're going to wait because this thing takes an annoyingly long time to load. This utility, at least. So, we're going to wait even longer. Now, since we just played StarCraft 2, the EXC itself is going to show up right in our recent applications tab. See, right here, SC2 and StarCraft2.exe. It says power saving right now, but if this is the first time you've actually used this computer, it's going to say not assigned. So what we want to do is click high performance. Just click it, just click power saving and it turns into high performance. Left click on it, and then you want to click apply down here at the bottom. And you want to wait, because it takes a while. So yay, everything now says high performance. Now, if uh, if you haven't run the game yet, it's not going to show up in recent applications or other applications. So you want to click on Browse, and you want to go to your game's folder to actually configure the individual EXE. So let's say we want to go to our Batman Arkham City. I'm going to circumnavigate my porn here so you don't have to look at that. And let's see, go to my Steam folder. Steam Apps. Common. And then here are all the games that I've downloaded so far for this. Um, so yeah, I said Batman. I said Batman. I double clicked on it, I swear. Okay, there we go. Since this is an Unreal game, you have a binaries folder. So let's go into binaries, Win32, and we see our Batman Arkham City EXE application. So double click on Batman Arkham City. And you see it's down here, and I've already configured it to be high performance. So now this game will run with the, with the uh, Radeon 6770M graphics card, other than, or in, uh, in opposition to, I guess I could say, the Intel Core i5 processor running solo. So, anyway, uh, and that means that Batman Arkham City is going to run as well as it can with the Radeon 6770M graphics card, or the 6470M graphics card, or the 6550M graphics card, or whatever graphics card you have from AMD in your notebook. Uh, this concludes my tutorial. I hope this answered a lot of your guys' questions, and thanks for watching, and you guys have a good night.
just kidding. We're gonna go back into StarCraft 2. <laughs> you guys thought it was I was gonna say. Just have a good night, leave it at that. See, now that we've configured the high performance option, running 60 right away, right off the bat. And it looks beautiful, runs beautifully. We're going to go into a uh, game real quick. Everything loads up so much faster with GDDR5 VRAM at your disposal. And especially since this thing has six gigs of RAM and StarCraft is 2 is already in the RAM. And look at that, beautiful. 60 frames per second at all times. Of course, you probably can't tell because this is YouTube, but yes, it is running much, much smoother now. So yeah, okay, now I'm not bluffing this time when I say thanks for watching, have a good night, and look forward to the review of the HP DV6T-1000 gaming notebook in the near future. Have a good night.